Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the What's Up Then podcast. This episode is presented by Pepsi or Mountain Dew. If you're thirsty, get a no. little sip of Mountain Dew or Pepsi. <laughs> are we not doing that? But are they represented? Are we sponsored by both? Because they're not the same thing. Yeah, or it's represented by both, but. Welcome back to another episode. Just, just funny right there. Um, <laughs> another, another Tuesday. <laughs> well, you know the vibes. You got Tucker, you got Spencer, you got Caton, and you got Kyle. Four Wood Liquor Brothers. Say my name right, Caton. Yeah, that's not what he said. He said Caton, but Caton. Caton. It's all right. But we're here, we're rocking and rolling. Keaton, high or low from this past week? How oh we gosh. doing? Uh, the only special thing I did this week was go golfing. That's about it. How did so we I do? Guess it was a low, technically, because I did terrible. But oh, I thought you yeah. shot. I thought you shot eighty. No, mm. I'd be bragging. If I shot an 80, you I shot a 105, work. I think. It's not too uh, bad. You start work start, this week? I go for processing tomorrow, whatever that means. Well, you've been already processed when this podcast comes out. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you enjoy your summer job that happens in the summer. So. Uh, yeah, I'll enjoy it. Tucker, how we doing over there? How was your past week? Doing great. We got an optic win this week. It's about my only highlight. That nine to five isn't treating you well. It's just, it's just a normal week, you know. Nothing special. Nothing it's special. Routine, routine work. Nine to five can get boring. So, Spencer, how's your week? How's it going today? Fantastic week. I got a high this week. We're going high. Got to go play top golf this week. Uh, on the on the uh, company dollar, we have one of our one of our pastors is moving to a new role within the church, uh, so he won't be on our campus anymore. So we got to go out and play top golf as a farewell. Uh, church paid That's... for it. It was very enjoyable. That seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Good time. Some good team bonding out there. Oh, yeah. Hit some I, good, high hit, or low? What's going on this week? High or low? It was good. It was a good week. I uh, had Wednesday went to a – I don't know what A they are, but they're affiliated with Chicago White Sox here in Winston-Salem. Um, took some middle schoolers and it was a good outing. They had a lot of fun. And um, Miami Heat, 2 nothing right now. We'll see what happens tonight as the game is going on. They may be trying to look to close it out by Tuesday. We'll see. But um, it's it's been a good week. Been a good week. So, all right. Next frame. First question. Carolina, Florida Panthers, NHL, goes into four overtimes. Four overtimes to decide a hockey game. So, if you're – a new NHL fan, regular season, they play one overtime, and then if no one scores in the sudden death overtime, they go into penalty shootout. Does anybody agree? I thought four overtimes, that's a pretty long time to play a hockey game. I'd like the penalty shootouts. I think that's fun. I, I think they should incorporate the soccer aspect, play a couple overtimes, then do penalty shootout. Thoughts? That is my question. Do you like the overtime rules for NHL in the playoffs? Don't care. Could care less. Any thoughts out here? I they mean, don't do the shootout? Not in the playoffs. They uh, overtime Sudden death overtimes. Is it golden goal? Golden. Isn't that what it means? Sudden, sudden death? death. Yeah. I feel oh, like okay. shootout would be more entertaining. 
That's what yeah. I'm saying. I, I think a, a hockey shootout is actually sort of boring. I know I've never seen a hockey, hockey shootout. So. I mean, you're the only one that watches hockey, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's they, true. For hockey shootouts, they skate from the half line. They skate up. They deke a bunch of times, try to pick the keeper out, and they shoot. I just, I don't think a hockey shootout's that exciting. Uh, I I enjoy. I think the most exciting thing during the regular season they play three on three. Three on three hockey is is very exciting. Um, really fun to watch. For overtime in the playoffs, they just play a full five on five. Uh, regular hockey um so it was pretty crazy that they went in their 20 minutes are they not do you know yeah, Kyle? and they're, and they're yeah. 20 minutes they oh played two they played four games. of those they played yeah. two they played two full, two full games. games wow and the fourth overtime he scored with 30 seconds left seconds right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no i i quite enjoy it i think that's pretty pretty fun um that they do it that way to be honest so what game in the series was this? This was, was game. game one. This was game one to set the tone. Oh boy! Oh wow! Oh <laughs> boy! This game up? Well, the funny Our thing coach. is, the funny thing is, Florida scored, but they called. It was beginning of the first overtime, and they guy got in the blue zone, blocked the goalkeeper. Can't get in that blue zone, and he blocked it. Interfere, so they yeah. called called it back. And that's then a, four that's over a bad call. Four overtimes later, so um, but good things are know what that means. Good things are coming out of Miami. I mean, underdogs oh in both gosh. series is go on the road and they get two uh, they get two wins. <laughs> so there's special things happening. We're talking about hockey. Well, I'm bringing in Miami. We're next frame with the next question. Jeez, what's so, your question with the Miami? I don't need a question. I mean, underdogs. Still underdogs after winning two games. I okay, Miami. I'll be honest. Middle schooler was talking about the series on Wednesday. I said they have no, absolutely no chance to win. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. You're not Miami. even a fan. Take that jersey off. Nope. Take the jersey you're off. You're not off even. Camera. Take the jersey off. No one wants to see that. Get the no. jersey off. No one wants to see that. <laughs> yes. You're not, you're not a true fan. fan. My, mi- fan. my middle school kid was like, Miami's going to sweep them. I'm like, no, there's not. A- if Miami wins, it's in game seven or game six. But he's Dude, like, I mean, if they sweep them, you got to hand all your Miami stuff over to this. It's looking like a sweep right now. It is. I, it's, it's I can't say the score of game three, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's just my question. That's not, that's a statement. Um, my basketball question is about Denver and Los Angeles. Where is LeBron James? LeBron James, I think the clock has finally no, well, he was caught in up. LA. I mean, what he was in LA <laughs> last game. I mean, that's where he is. Oh my god. Good, good point. That's a good point. He was in Denver good, the first two games. Good one. Oh, wow. Good one. You know what I mean. He has not shown up for this Denver series. I think he put all his energy into the Warriors series. I mean, Joker, I apologize. You're slow as molasses. You can barely get up and down the court, but you are a true star in this league. Doesn't matter if you're slow, you can't jump, you can still be a star. I mean, averaging a triple double, maybe he's getting in the conversation the best big man ever. I mean, Shaq, yeah. he's getting up there. Ever. Give him a whoa, 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 whoa. I, I would, I think he's in the conversation. Yes, yes, he I should mean, have been geez. the MVP this year, but we got a little tired, we had to give it to Embiid and. We saw how he farted out in the playoffs. So, yeah. Wow. Yes. Um, game three, he was, he let his other, he, he had a little break, but they still got the win. Um, but Embiid, we, I think everybody owes apology to Jokic. I mean, he's just, I thought LeBron, I thought number one defensive player, I'm not even going to say number one defensive player anymore because Anthony Davis, you are not a first. 
defensive player. You need to shut him down, and you didn't. Averaged a triple-double on your head. And your Anthony Davis has shown out on the offensive end, but he is not shown off on the defensive ends. But um, I can't even get the question of LeBron because Tucker just – he botched it. He just botched it. <sighs> I thought it was funny. No. I was just saying LeBron – it's just a different LeBron. I think the finally grandfather clock has caught up to LeBron. Uh, he – it's not the same. You would have never let Lonnie Walker in a series take over in the fourth quarter. He's literally just passing the ball to Lonnie Rocker and going at it. And the same year, like he should have taken over game three, had like 40, 50 points, but can't hit a side side barn. He can't hit a side of a barn right now from outside. So <laughs> Barn, Barnum side, side, side barn. barn. I got it right. I had to get it. I had to get it. So, now let's talk about the flow of that beard going on right now. We're just it's... stop changing subjects on you. Look at that. That flow of the beard. It's looking good. What kind it's... of product you use in that guy? Conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Conditioner. Shit poo in there. No, no, well, I use bot, you know, body, wa- body wash. You don't use any of the like beard products or anything. No, I think I combed it today. Um, <laughs> I do, I do put condition. The morning was so long ago, I don't know what I did. That's morning, there is that young, long ago. Yeah, it's gonna get trimmed here soon. Don't worry, folks. Don't worry, mom. It's gonna get trimmed soon. <laughs> All right, two more. Can I have two more comments? Jeez, Ew, I geez. guess so. Did yeah, you guys? That's all about you. So go ahead. Did you guys see the new? I want to plug these guys. New Dude Perfect video yesterday. No, no. Why are we plugging Dude Perfect? They're I saw the highest five billion shot. times bigger than us. Okay, we'll plug them anyways. The competition. No, I didn't see their video. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, so they all one of our viewers go check out Dude Perfect. Okay, they probably already follow Dude Perfect to be honest. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I can kind of explain it. It was pretty cool. I you guys should go watch their video. So Dude Perfect has been doing trick shots. So their first basketball shot was like from Kyle Allen Field, Texas A and M. Um, they went to another place, two other places, and then their how ridiculous beat their uh, world highest basketball shot. Um, and then they find that was like five years ago, and finally they were able to find a spot right on Las Vegas Strip that was high enough to beat how ridiculous uh, basketball shot. So they did this documentary of how this trick shot come about. Uh, the the process of what how they were shooting it and stuff like that. Excuse me. So it was a it it actually brought tears to my eyes. It was pretty cool to see. Uh, they're all Christians. Tyler, Tony, um, do perfect. They were in Las Vegas for three days, so they had three days to do this uh, shot. Uh, windy conditions had to be perfect, and from eight hundred and fifty three feet up in the air on this tower. They're up there for three days. Um, can't get it two days. Tyler Tony has to leave on the third day in the middle of the day. Um, I think he had to leave at 1 p.m. And they tell him he's about to come out off the deck and stuff like that. Haven't hit the basket, nothing. Like he's just shooting it and it's like windy and blowing it all over the place. And Tyler's, Tyler's got to leave at 1 they're like, well, your flight got canceled, so you can just stay out there for a little bit longer. And uh, during that time, his flight got canceled, and he just like – God's hand was on this shot. He literally just threw it, and it's just floating, floating, floating. And somehow – I don't know how he banks it, but somehow it hits the backboard and goes in, and it was just like – you could just feel the tension. Like they were getting disheartened, and um, it was – I, like I said, it brought a little tears to my eyes because it's good for that that crew. They they've been 
They trick shots hasn't been their formula lately. So I thought that was pretty cool. You should go check out the do perfect video. Boys, you should do it after this, after the recording. It's a good one. Yes, sir. But that was a long one. Sorry. Last comment before the next frame. Spencer Keaton, a question for you guys. Who was losing in points all of the Premier League and who were the winners? All right. That's what I quit. That was the What's Up Ben podcast. See you guys later. Thanks for checking out the show. And who the was really able? Next who time. was able the, to celebrate the biggest today. bandwagon in history ever? I don't literally care. ever. Kyle, I don't, I don't Kyle, even care. You're, I have I have my comment. Have my comment. Uh, what's your comment, Kyle? When did you become a fan? Of Manchester City, uh, probably when that was it the Amazon documentary that came out about them. It was probably when they started to win. <laughs> probably. probably five, probably uh, five probably, years, probably five years ago. Straightforward about when that happened. Probably when they decided to start winning. I mean, Aguero about was five cool. years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's probably when that documentary series came out. You remember that. The yeah, the all, all or nothing. Plug yeah. it, plug it, all or nothing on Amazon. All or nothing. Um, that's like five years ago. But I just wanted to ask that question. I mean, they, Man City was losing the Premier League all season in points. I mean, and Arsenal then, choked. And now they're also going to the Champions League final. So yeah. try and Aren't they in another cup final too? Nah, yeah. That, that, other the cup, that other cup doesn't matter. The Champions League – Matters. But still the still still They were talking last Champions League that this Pep Gorial has already won enough, but I still think it signifies his success there at Man City to win the yeah, Champions I don't think he's won a Champions League, has he? No. He's yeah, won everything not else. Man City. Yeah, not a Man City. Won, I don't think he won with Bayern either. Or Barca. He won with Barca. Did he win a Champions League with Barca? I don't yep, know. He did. I would assume that so. That was a great game. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to look it up. Now. I don't know. I, I don't trust me. So. No, no. Not at all. You don't know. Where's Barcelona in? <sighs> Spain. They already Spain. won. The, they won the league, too. Yeah. yeah they, had the, just... they, had, they had the run off the field. Fans started throwing today. Stuff. No, when they won the their, the Liga, they oh, ran off the field. Pep, Pep did go twice. He's gone twice to win. He's won it. He's won twice. He's. I think he's been to the final three times. But they were just talking like to amplify his Man City success. I think it does. Like he's won a lot of. He's already three years in a row for Premier League, FA Cup. But he's not won yeah. the Champions League. So, anyways, next frame. Enough of Kyle throwing it over to the best segment here on the What's Up With Them podcast. Spencer, take over. That. You know what's up. Recognize. All that. right, fellas. Fellas, just a little update. Uh, last week, it was not a sport. It was not a sport. We had the viewer participation they came in in droves voting for us. Well done on the comments section, everyone. Um, thank you for, for supporting this this podcast. And all two comments that came in were fantastic. Thank you so much. This week, we have another Is It a Sport? Well, if you go so. ahead, tell us. This week, we have an Instagram video. You don't know what we're watching yet. Neither do the people. So let's not vote yet. So go ahead and load up your Insta videos. Keaton's camera's gone sideways. <laughs> what? Whoa. All right. Pause your videos. This week we have, I don't know how to say it in spanish or brazilian or whatever this is written in but we have marble races let's start that video fellas 
Du, 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 du. There's an official track. There is a uh, a go light uh, that that times them down to get them going. The marbles are off. They shoot up this ramp. <laughs> here we go. This is exciting. <laughs> Anybody else is free to jump in here and comment on how they think marbles are going. Uh, the green is off and running. Green's going to win. There you go. These are represented by countries. This is countries, the world cup yes. of uh, marble. What countries? What countries? Green. No, uh, green's actually not winning. Mexico? That's Australia. Germany's winning right now. Is that the leaderboard on the left? Yes, Germany's I assume way so. Way out ahead. They are killing it. Oh, Australia, video. Australia coming in, mate. Australia's on. Oh, USA's in oh. second. USA. Oh, USA. USA. Oh my! But it doesn't right, get why, any is, shit. why is the US ball like a purple ball? This doesn't make much sense. It looks white. To All me. color doesn't match up super well. It looks white to me, but red, white, and blue makes purple. Um, Australia just came. Yep. <laughs> Germany with the win. Germany, USA got boo. USA, USA got third passed. Place. Third place. All right, fellas. <laughs> that is the official World Cup of Marble Race. Put your thumbs down because it's not time to vote. I haven't called for your votes yet. My thumb is down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is. Marble racing, a sport. Thumbs nah. up or thumbs down. <laughs> my toes are down. My head's down. It is cool. No, don't, put cool thing, don't put the head down. Don't put the head down. Fun to watch. It is cool to watch Unwatch. for some reason. Cool to watch when you have good commentary. It's good commentary right there. That was awesome. If you're two babies. myself. There's no, there should be no discussion. This is not a sport. No there's, people there's involved. No, there's no physical, there's no physical ability. It's kind of like think... sports. It... They're not sports because there's no physical ability. Oh, there. yeah. That, sure. We can't, we can't. Get into it. If there's like, if you build your own marbles, maybe, but I think they're just regular marbles. You just well, stick it in, you stick it in a line and hope for the best. Huh? Well, you just stick it in. And hope for the best. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. So, marble racing is not a sport. It yeah. is Herman here. You heard it here first, folks. 0 for 4 on the marble racing being a sport. Yeah. Good job. I don't, we still don't know what is success. I think that's a success when we all agree. I think that's a good success. Sure. I think as, as far as a content perspective, it's better when we are two and two. Mm. The arguments well, still, drive content. Well, still get your comments in if that's not a sport. Maybe yeah, let's include let's include people into the sport. Uh, marbles, it's a little. I mean, people people they put those marbles on the track. Somebody built that track. I don't know. This is true. Sure. There's all the reasons I have right there. All right. Next frame. Keaton, bring the energy. Show us why your segment is the best segment here. Got college mascots. What that's, are we doing? That's, draft. that's the best. College season. mascots as a draft. Does this include Ooh. professional sports? A college mascot. Hey, thank you, Tucker. Thank you, Tucker. Good question. Is this college, college mascot? Mascots? Any college. Any college. Sure. D1, sure. QD3, sure. NAIA, yeah. community sure. college. Sure. sure. Pick a community get, college. Get, sure. all, get all your questions out now. We had a little confusion last week. It's the best so mascot. Get all. There was no confusion last week. There was confusion. There's confusion every week because we come into this going, uh, I mean, it's always three to one. We don't have any rules set up. We're totally unprepared. 
It's always three to one, though, when the question I think the confusion is now. only Spencer. Applications are apps. Oh, no thank, one got the Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> All right, Spence. So I don't know how to Family Feud. Family Feud. All right, how are we going to do it? I go first. I got first in the oh, draft last on. week. I, keep I got f- I keep got. I got first. No, I got first. Nobody votes for the positive. Oh, for the pitcher, for the pitcher. The Tucker, terrific Tuckers to vote for me. Terrific Tuckers. I don't know. That is pretty good. I can't come up with it. That is a good. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Terrific Tuckers. I voted like late, and when I voted, it was 44% for me. And then twenty two for Tucker, and it was both of the accounts he has. Yeah, it's the <laughs> was voted for himself. The main account and then my personal account. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we like it. Keep keep interacting with us, guys. We like it. Go on the Instagram. We post the draft picture there. Vote there. Um, hopefully, we can get back to clips. That would be know. nice. Would it would be nice. be nice to get some clips out there for the folks. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're not entertaining enough to get clips. So, right. yeah. you know. So, I don't. Whenever can he cue us when he's ready? Or I don't. Who? Family Feud. The host of Family, Family Feud. Are we ready? We're back from commercial break. Here is Family Feud time. <laughs> All right, are we ready, fellas? How we are we know. doing this? Can we just shout out the answers, or are we yeah, going to press your buzzers? No, that's your mess. Hand. No, Get don't do that. Just shout it out. Okay. No, shout it out. Everyone's ready. Spencer already has the question. He already has knows what he's going to say. Well, that's true. All right, fellas, we asked one hundred people. Name something you did every day in kindergarten that you wish you could do every day now. Take a nap. Okay, no ants. No. Kyle <laughs> has been disqualified. That I rose my hand. Question. You, I didn't call on you. Do you oh think that God. they just let him shout it out? Steve Harvey's like, oh, you buzzed in. And I I don't know. No, you wait for the teacher to call on you. All right, I got Keaton with the first hand. Nap, nap. Number one answer on the board. (laughs) I don't know how you came up with it on your own. I don't know. All right, Tucker. Wow. Eat a snack. Snack time. Why did you do that as an adult? I'll I'll let you know on that one. I don't know if that's number. So Tucker with the snack. I'm gonna go with pick your nose. Pick your nose. Ew. All right, Kyle. Coloring pages. What color? Color. 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 Just... All right, we've got one. play with toys. Recess. The number two answer. <laughs> oh, color no, or great. paint. The number three answer. Uh, we've got get free snacks. Yeah, yeah. suck it. <laughs> suck it, Keita. Check your nose, not on the board. I don't know why that was. Wait, that was actually four. Yes, it was. Get free snacks was number four. All right, so we've got Keaton, Kyle, Tucker, Spencer. <sighs> Tucker, right, you're Spencer. you're hosting Family Feud next week. Me? Yep. Why is he ghosting? We lost the host. He's just mad because he. I don't want to host her before he goes. He's mad because he didn't follow the rules of the show. (laughs) I said not to raise hands, so (laughs) we raised our hands, and then Kyle shouted out. Still, (sighs) the rules, and he shouted out. I don't even know. I'm picking first. Yeah, well, good. I'm glad Um, he was. Good job, draft master. Um. All right, first pick. I want to go with uh, Oregon, the duck. 
The Can we get duck. the real names of the characters? Don't That's know what this name. says on it's Google. Actually, the organ duck. It's Donald Duck. No, it's actually it's, Donald Duck. That's it's, the Disney the character. Name is the no, organ duck. Yeah. That's what I have here. I have to. I have based notes. on Disney's oh Donald Duck. Based on Spencer. What is Penn State's mascot? Oh, yeah, it's well, why worse. am I going to give you your pick? That's not my pick. This is a sep- this is a side side quest. The Nittany Lion. Okay. Yeah. Tucker thought it was a bear. Tucker thought it's it was a, a bear. bear. Oh. <laughs> it's a bear. Not, not a bear. All right, the side Penn quest State over. Lions. All right, side quest over. Ugh. Go ahead. Go ahead Ugh. 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 Georgia Bulldog. Oh, Georgia Bulldog. Sure. Ugh, the dog. Good, good job. That's a great pick. It is a oh. great pick. Look, he's a cute buck. He's a cute he's probably dog. Probably the cutest one. Exactly. I got a better one. Uh, to all my Ohio State fans, oh. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not reach. Doing that That's a reach. He's a good pick. Now, we're going to the better team. Alabama, Big Al. Nice. Big Al. All right. I'm going to go ahead and and steal one here. I'm going to go with the Duke Blue Devil. Go go ahead. I think think Kyle's upset with that. No, I – I think he was going to be. I think he's, he's going to be. He that. was going to be around five. What is Keaton no. doing? I don't know. What are you doing? A cold tradition. We we don't know traditions of what the mascot does. Never mind. Not even going to try. Uh, maybe I do. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. I don't know if it has a name, but I'm going with the Florida Gator. Albert. There are actually two of them, Albert and Albert Albert. Alberta. Yes, man, you can get both. Sure, you guys are just leaving. You just leaving stuff on the table right now. I don't even know what to pick. So, Texas Longhorn Bevo Bevo, whatever, however you say his name. How can't get get him unless you can pronounce names properly. Bevo, that's how I would. I don't actually know what it is. It's a longhorn. That's all I know. To, to, it's a bull. The two, yeah, the two. It's B- a longhorn. B E V O. Sure. Bevo. I don't know. Tucker. All right, we're going with Herbie Husker for the Nebraska Corn Huskers. Oh. <laughs> Herbie Husker. Good job. Herbie Husker. Good job. All right. With my number with my number two pick, I'm gonna go with Wooshock. Wichita State. Wooshock. Is that your one out of their division one? Their division one? No, it's coming, fellas. It's coming. It's coming. The best one's coming. Okay. It's going to pick OVU. <laughs> the best ones go to OVU. OVU. They're not, not a. They're not a. Yeah, one. they're not a college. Fighting Scots. Did you even have a mascot? Wait, is it is it my that turn? That was the mascot. Yes. Yeah. Did you have like a mascot? Did that somebody dress? Oh no. no. Yeah. No, okay. no, that ain't a thing. They had the smallest college ever. All right, I'm going with. Michigan State Spartan. Sparty. 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 Sure. Man, you guys are leaving. Oh, my God. You guys are leaving stuff out there. Chief Chief Oskualu. Or what, how Florida State. Yes, you don't get him. You can't pronounce it. <laughs> you try to pronounce his name. I'm, I'm not picking him. I don't see that one on my list. So. Florida I'm State. I'm literally just writing down Florida State. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, make it harder on the editor. It's fine. I mean, you literally just like Florida State mascot, but yes. I mean, just make it hard on me. It's fine. That is what she said. My turn. 
Yep. No. All right, we got Bucky Badger for Wisconsin. Wisconsin <laughs> going all Big Ten for over there. <laughs> I try to. Try what to was get the first one? Here. Alabama. Oh, okay, that was the SEC. Your other two were Big Ten. I don't know these conferences. So I just pick. <laughs> Spencer, round three. Oh, it's my turn. My bad, yes. my bad. All right. I am going to go with the cuter than the Georgia Bulldog. I'm going to go with Handsome Dan from Navy. Handsome Dan. Oh, dear. I think a Dan oh, is a. That's a stretch. Cuter than a Bulldog. Would well, have picked another dog over the dog, but. I don't think he's a pug. Mm. What is he? What kind of dog is he? Is he a oh. Dane? A bulldog? I don't know. He what is a bulldog. He's a bulldog. He is a cutie, folks. Check him out. Handsome. Dude. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. At least we don't. At least he gets a call back. That's all I'll say. Kia, are you ready for round four? I didn't get that, but all right. All right, I'm picking this one. I found this. I thought it was hilarious. Dartmouth, the keg is their mascot. No, what? Keggy the keg. It says yeah. un- unofficial <laughs> mascot, but. What school is this from? Darth Dartmouth. Dartmouth. What? That's a division Dartmouth. one. It's Ivy League. That That's the school in um, Accepted. That's not the school accepted. The, the the one next to it. Oh, right? the real school? Yeah. That might be. I, I can't remember that. Oh, is it? I just watched it recently. I know these. I things. thought they were all fake. How are we watching that? Me and Tucker watched it. Good old Keggy. It's a classic. Another great one that you guys are forgetting. Traveler. Traveler USC Trojan. Man, how you uh, gotta know it to action. forget it, so <laughs> Traveler makes top five all time, so all right. Did we get Spike the Bulldog from Gonzaga? No, we have not. Right, I mean, I'll we got three bulldogs. I'll take Spike the Bulldog. I'll put one more dog on the table <laughs> next round. <laughs> we got three different bulldogs. Dogs are a great mascot why are bulldogs always the ones why don't any of the because the bulldogs got some fighting them oh look at that guy all right well i'm gonna take probably arguably the most recognizable mascot in the country i don't necessarily enjoy this mascot but i'm going with brutus Um, i thought we were gonna make it Ohio State University. I thought we were going to make it without him on oh, there. I, got, I had to pick him. Boo. Why don't we like Ohio State? Because mostly break, because of their cause fans. Because their fans. Because everyone else around us did. Because <laughs> they deserve yeah, to be fair. in the playoffs every year, no matter what. All right. Um, it's like how uh, a fan hates that we talk about Golden State. It's about the same thing. Okay. Keaton. Sure. Side quest over. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going with Pete the Penguin. Wow. What a, sh- what a shout out. Is that why? Pete the Penguin. Pete? Yes. Never heard of that one. What a shout out. It's actually a pretty cool mascot. Like, actually. Uh, the last dog. Smoky, Tennessee. Is he a bulldog? <laughs> no, he's oh. just he's an actual real dog. He's a He's a He's like a live dog. Like he's he's a hound. Yeah, it's a real one. dog. Yeah, so the Georgia dog Bulldogs dog. have a real dog. He's an yes, but they also have the mascot. Isn't Spike the Bulldog a real dog? Sure. I know he's not. Tennessee. Sure. Like the Bulldog is not. Tennessee has a mascot too, I think. 
You're the only 10 I see. Wow. Good job. Good one, Todd. I don't have a fifth one. There's nope. how turn. many My how turn? many mascots? Right, we got, uh, are you ready? We're ready. No. Wait, let me see here. Oh, my God. We're huh? skipping them. No, Spencer. Right. I got Pistol Pete for wow. Pager Pete. Pistol What's... Pete. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Oklahoma <laughs> State. Yes, Oklahoma State Jeez. University. Pistol Dude. Pete. Oh, it also right. says it also says uh No, there's a couple different Pete's, but I'm going with Pistol Pete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. We got Pete the Penguin. There's Pedro right, Pete fellas. from University of Texas, El Paso. Are we ready oh, to finish? Yeah, okay. yeah, let's. With the Mr. Let's this... pick of this draft, I will tell you right now this is the best mascot in the country from Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh. Artie, Artie the Artichoke. The Fighting Artichokes of Scottsdale Community College. Look it up. Oh, my God. Look it up. Nobody he heard chose of a community up. college. He did pick a community college. I told you I would. Look it up. Artie the Artichoke. Wait, I mean, guys. do they have how, sports there? How, fighting Artichokes. How would we have ever guessed that? You wouldn't have. That's why I picked it last. <laughs> if Spencer wins this week, Oh, it is wrong. It is a very, very memorable, memorable mascot. Already the artist. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Keaton, like Honorable mentions. Uh, I'll say of Otto the Orange from Syracuse. That's, That's a pretty cool name. I'm the the Jayhawk, Kansas Jayhawk. That's a good one. Abby the Tiger from Auburn. Did he say it? <laughs> Just read it. I'll be the dogger. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be. Kansas Jayhawk? Yeah, Kansas Jayhawk. Tucker Alba? Rose? Alba? Bamford Tree. <laughs> Are you picking that? Because I was going to pick that. Big Red. <laughs> Which one are you going to pick? Mike the Tiger. You forgot LS, LSU? LSU, that's LSU. Oh, they actually have a tiger? I guess. All right. Nitty Lion. Shut up, Tiger. What is your honorable mention? All of them. Spencer could have the tree. Just, just sit there. <laughs> well, I'm not going to take the Sanford tree. I think I have another one. This is this is a good one. You have another community college. I have another unique one for you. I have Peter, the anteater. He is from UC Irvine. Peter, the anteater. Where is that at? UC Irvine is uh, California, University uh, of California in Irvine. Uh, I'm surprised uh, no one no one picked the Horn Frogs TCU. Oh, that would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Yeah, that would have been a real good one. The end of the draft, I don't know. I think this was a Hulu exclusive. Did you guys ever watch the mascot? Um, I forget the name on Hulu. Is they would they documentary did documentaries about different mascots. Did you guys ever watch that? I have not. It was pretty cool. You remember the name? You send it to us. We can watch it. Let me get it right now. College mascot generally earns a salary of around forty-five thousand. Hold on a second. That's impressive. I can earn forty-five thousand to be a college mascot. It's also worth mentioning that famous sports mascots can earn much more than this. For example, Harry the Hawk, the Atlanta Hawks mascot, makes more than six hundred thousand annually. All right. Well, I'm changing careers. I'm I'm out of here. I'm gonna have to. You have to. I'm gonna to apply to become Artie the Artichoke. It's it's called Behind the Mask. Behind the Mask Hulu original series. They 
UNLV, they followed him. There's the uh, San Francisco Giants, the mascot there. Um, the affiliate team of the Pittsburgh Penguins. I, for, I don't know which affiliate. Scranton. What? Aren't they Scranton or Wilkesbury? Wilkesbury Scranton. Probably. But yeah, was, this one Scranton. was thir- 13, 2013 through 15. But it's cool to see like how what they have to go through. The mall they followed the Milwaukee Buck. That was a pretty good, but it's cool like to see see that. So then, and that any closing thoughts, fellas? Any closing thoughts? Tucker, look up for me real quick. Uh, how much does Artie the Artichoke make? I think I'm gonna be changing careers here soon. I I don't know. I'm kidding. That's why you look it up. Community the most popular that. mascot is the bulldog, the mighty bulldog, like we said earlier. In Georgia? No, this bulldog. In that's like that's the most... dog. Oh, 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 I got you. Well, any other closing That's all dogs? we have for Tucker you. King? That's all we have for you, folks. Nope. Oh, yeah. We wish well, it thank was you. Better, but it's Can not. You... Terrific Tuckers. Can we vote out there? Terrific. Oh, That's Tucker's supporting cast. The, the oh, stupendous brother. Spencers. Come on now. Stup- <laughs> Keith, what do you got? You can't. No. Crazy Kyle's with the K. Crazy with the K. He can't. Even, Kyle can't even come up with a name that actually. There's not. A for him. There's not uh, many K adjectives. Yeah, for that, real. The, go with kicking, the go with the crushing Keatons. Crushing Keatons. Kicking Keatons. I don't know. The killing it, Keaton's. We gotta finish this quick, fellas. We yeah, gotta close, this close quick. it out. Down. It's only, it's only getting worse. It's only getting worse here, Nobody's folks. At this point, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom and no. uh, Zachary, this is another edition of the What's Up Them podcast. <laughs> Thanks for watching the whole episode. Um, hopefully, you guys have a great week and come back and join us again here Tuesday after Tuesday, eleven a.m. Uh, We're here, guys. We're having fun. You can see it. So thank you for watching another edition of What's Up Them Podcast. We'll see you later. Peace.